In this chapter we will introduce common problems during the laying of underground optical cables. Main contents include tool and material preparation, optical cable unloading, duct trial connection, optical cable reeling, traction and coiling. First we will introduce tools and material preparation. In this phase the common problem is the optical cables are not tested before they are delivered from the warehouse or the test is not performed 100% or the customer is not present during the test. The customer does not sign the test report for confirmation. Now let's talk about the common problems during loading and unloading of optical cables. Push the cable drum to an open area. When moving the cable drum mechanically, the forklift is inserted from the bottom of the drum facing the optical cable drum. Let's watch the wrong examples. The forklift is not facing the drum and is not inserted along the bottom of the drum. In the second example, the fork of the forklift hits the side plate of the drum. The cable tray is pushed down directly from the truck without any cushioning and protection. This is wrong. Incorrect loading or unloading operations may cause damage to the optical cable tray. The optical cable may be damaged or punctured by a hard object, scratching, etc. causing unnecessary extra cost to the project and time delay. When rolling the optical cable tray, push the cable tray in the direction indicated on the side panel of the drum. The optical cable is damaged due to improper operations. Standard and non-standard items when loading or unloading and transporting optical cables. Now let's talk about common problems of underground trial connection. Trial through of duct holes without following the marks in the construction drawing. The blue subduct is not tested according to the construction drawings. The yellow duct is actually used for the test. When the test of the duct hole with the mark in the construction drawing is unsuccessful, decide to use another hole for the test without communicating with the customer. Now let's talk about the non-standard operations that occur when the optical cable is coiled. When moving the optical cable tray, the optical cable is damaged by foreign objects such as nails and stones on the ground. The optical cable is scratched by a nail on the optical cable tray when it is coiled. At the beginning of the coiled process, the sequence of optical cable N is not clearly identified, causing cross-winding of optical cables. Too fast or too slow speeds when coiling into a figure of eight shape. Optical cables are damaged due to friction between the cable and the ground. Another common non-standard operation is that the optical cable is scratched by rough objects on the ground because no color stripes are laid where the cable is coiled into a figure of eight. Now let's talk at the common non-standard operations during duct optical cable routing. The bundling of traction rope is not reliable which leads to the detachment of the optical cable. No anti-scratch measures are taken on the manhole and duct openings when the optical cables are routed. The optical cable is scratched.
staff used too much force when pulling the cable, or the staff at both ends do not pull the cable at the same pace. This causes the optical cable to deform and twist. The entire optical fiber cable was laid from the A end to the B end at one time, not deployed from the manhole in the middle of the plate to either side. After the cable is laid in a figure of eight shape, the optical cable is twisted when it is laid again. This causes the optical cable to deform and the resistance on the ground becomes more. When the optical cable is withdrawn from the drum, the support frame is not used and the optical cable is not twisted. The following introduces the common problems with the optical cable tray coiling. The optical cable is deformed or damaged due to the staff coiling the optical cable during the storage. The optical cables are bound too tightly or too heavily when the optical cables are left on the tray. As a result, the optical cables are deformed and damaged. The diameter of the optical fiber coil is too small, which does not meet the requirements. Finally, after coiling the optical cable, put it into the manhole. The optical cable is not turned in the direction of the optical cable, but turned into the manhole at 180 degrees. This causes the optical cable to be distorted and deformed. This is all for this chapter. Thank you.